Oh man, what an awesome workout. Hard, heavy, challenging, and effective. This is the kind of workout I do and I encourage other older folks to do to stay as strong as you can for as long as you can. So come join me for today's squat and deadlift session. Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, as you can see, today is squat and deadlift day, a continuation of my deadlift and squat projects. Today was good, heavy, hard, liked it. So let's get in the gym, I'll show you what I did, then we'll catch back up in a few minutes, wrap it all up. Let's go do it. Alrighty, off we go with today's squat and deadlift session. Now you'll notice I have my uh, buddy and workout par partner Howard with me today. Um, he had done his work earlier because he had to get out a little bit quicker today so he did his squats and deadlifts earlier and stayed around just long enough to help me uh, at least with moral support on my squat session. Um, and while I'm thinking about it I uh, have that footage and I am indeed going to uh, Put out a video of Howard's workout, his progress, and how he's doing as a uh, squatter and deadlifter at age 70. And I might want to say right now he's doing great. So here's set one of today's squat and deadlift session. And uh, obviously I'm doing squats first, deadlifts second, and the next session uh, we'll do deadlifts first and then squats second. Now, I had stopped doing squats at the end of December of 2022 due to a little illness I had that I've spoken about many times, a little ear issue that messed up my balance for quite a bit. And I'm back now to what I consider normal, and I'm feeling fairly comfortable about doing barbell squats. And you, you can see there in the bottom right, I restarted my squats on October 25th of 2023 at 225 pounds and I weighed body my body weight was 178 and a half <clears throat> excuse me I picked the 225 as a good moderate starting weight working in a progressive overload fashion of three sets of five reps meaning every time I can successfully do three sets of five reps a given weight I'll move up five pounds now this is technically session four of my restart. I missed a, a, a day on November 12th there, scheduling issue. Um, but today I want to point out also that I weigh 182 pounds as opposed to uh, 178 and a half on October 25th. I've been consciously trying to put up, put on some weight, lean weight hopefully, and uh, primarily to help me with things like strength in deadlifts and squats and you know all the way around um, so here's set three this was a good squat session uh, I've been moving cautiously and judiciously on these squats like I said I'm getting more and more confidence as I go I think I have a lot of room left here to patiently go up five pounds every session a lot of room to go before I plateau I believe I just want to focus on form depth and uh, just getting more and more confidence. And of course, building up some strength. You know, doing back squats does require a different muscle group combination, synergy, I guess, than doing leg presses and hack squats and that kind of thing, although those are great. But I think squats are a foundational exercise that um, I'm always gonna do so long as I can. There you go, three good sets at 240, moving up to 245 next squat session felt good about that and thank you Howard for being there with me okay and now I'm on my own <laughs> um, my deadlift session uh, as you can see there my restart started on October 2nd so a little earlier than the squats um, but I'd, I had stopped doing deadlifts the same time frame the end of 2022 due to the same issue but I felt a little more uh, safe doing this uh, doing deadlifts than, than uh, barbell squats. 
But today is session nine, and um, I started at 315. Again, I thought that was a pretty moderate weight to start with, and uh, again, progressive overload, three sets of five. And I've moved, this is, like I said, session nine, and I've pro you know, progressed through each one of those pretty easily. Today was the first time I felt a little challenged on all three sets. The uh, RPE on each of these, RPE being rate of perceived effort, that's based on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being uh, it's like a warm-up set, um, 10 meaning at the end of the set you had absolutely nothing left in you. Uh, these three were closer to the 9, nine RPE. I, I would say the third set was actually really close to 10. But uh, I had done squats first, so I'll factor that in. So this was, as I said, a little challenging. My previous uh, deadlift sessions um, on my third set, I was able to do six reps. And then to me, that represented the fact that I was strong enough to move up five pounds next session. Um, today, that wasn't the case. But... I will say I felt strong enough in this session and if you factor in the fact it was after squats I think I'm gonna move up to uh, 360 yeah that's I think that's right next session so here's the third set um, now I also want to mention I waited about um, three or four minutes between sets and also want to emphasize to the every sixth day thing that uh, I do these every sixth day. I want to make sure I have a six day rest between these heavy sessions. And needless to say, the rest is important. You want to rest the obviously the muscles, connective tissues, the joints, all that stuff. But I think something we overlook a lot of times is the nervous system. These heavy, demanding compound movements really stress the nervous system. I don't know about you, but I can tell when my nervous system is stressed. So it's very important, and I'm focusing on making sure I don't um, do these sessions any sooner than every six days, unless there's some kind of crazy scheduling conflict that would necessitate it. But that's my goal, rest every six days. All right, so that's a good squat session, good deadlift session, happy with it. Now I'm going to finish up with an accessory move, and here uh, today I'm picking uh, leg presses. Sometimes I do leg extensions or hack squats, but today I'm going to limit it to two sets of 12 reps on this leg press machine. This was kind of heavy. This is, uh, I think I had eight plates on either side. This was a demanding two sets, but it was a great way to finish up. It was a lower volume, particularly for me, because I used to... I used to do way or twice as much volume as this, and I think at my detriment. So lower volume, high intensity, great workout, squat, and deadlift day. Thank you for joining me. All right, there you go. So we're moving along. Um, I think that a 450-pound deadlift is realistic for me. Not exactly sure of the time frame, but I think I can do that. And honestly, I feel good about the squats. Um, I'm way behind on my squats in relation to my deadlift, but um, I feel like uh, I'm moving along, doing it cautiously, patiently, patiently, and I'm fairly certain I'll get to the point where I can do a 350 pound legit squat. I'm pretty certain of that, as a matter of fact, and uh, that's my interim goal. So anyway, today was an excellent day. It's a hard day, but I loved it. And I want to thank each and every one of you for hanging out with me. And I want to thank Howard for being there with me too. That was awesome. He couldn't be there as long as I'd hoped, but he was there for his session, which I will bring to you folks also in the next day or two. I promise you that. I promised an arm day the other day, but I accidentally deleted that footage on me. But I've got Howard's squat and deadlift day today. He did a great job. I'm going to bring that to you. But again, thank you for being here. And as always, hit that like button. Share us with your friends. And if you haven't, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Love to have you here. All right. It's an awesome day out here today. I think I'm going to do another walk. 
And um, with that, I will say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.